Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be here today because I'm in front of my Christmas tree. I have red lipstick on, which means it's a festive video. So today I'm going to bring you guys my 2020 holiday gift guide. I've actually never done a video like this before and I love watching these videos because I feel like personally when people ask me what I want for Christmas, I'm always like, I don't know money gift cards and as much as i love money and gift cards it's like that's not always fun for the gift giver either you know i love giving gifts so i like when people can actually tell me something that they want so i'm gonna share with you guys 50 ideas you guys can ask for for christmas or things that you can get your friends for christmas or that you can get your family for christmas so there's a lot of things on this list they range from every price range from every area from genders there's a lot of different things you can ask for on this list so whether you are looking for things to get your friends something to get your sister mom dad brother, family, friends, anyone, literally anyone. If you're looking for a gift for somebody in your life, this is the video for you. Number one is a journaling Bible. If you guys don't have a journaling Bible, then that is something that I really recommend you have, or if somebody else doesn't have one, then get one for them. I love my journaling Bible. It's so great to be able to write in the margins. Perfect, so if someone doesn't have a Bible, the best gift you, should, you can gift them this year is a Bible. Number two is highlighters and pens. Pretty self-explanatory to use in your Bible or if you're a student. Three is sticky notes or washi tape. Again, super great journaling Bible supplies or again, studying supplies. Everyone can use more sticky notes or washi tape. Number four is another really great one is the Bible study devotionals. I've been going through the Old Testament one very slowly, but I have been going through it. And it's really, really great for someone who has never read the Bible before. If they just need something that's really structural that can like get them through the Bible and kind of just show them and give them a really good guide to like get through the books of the bible that's a really really good one number five is the jesus calling devotional personally that's my favorite devotional ever the entries are super small but that's super practical for a lot of people when they don't have time before work or before school it's something where you can still get the word of god in you before your day starts number six i had to include this and that is my kindness is cool shirts if you want to give someone a gift of kindness and a gift of just something warm and lovely and if you want to support a small business like myself you guys can get my kindness cool shirts they're super cute so adorable and they're really 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 comfy too so if you guys like the kindness is cool shirts right here then go ahead and uh, click the link in my bio number seven is another devotional again and that is the new morning mercies devotional this one is super good as well and i think it's really good for someone like anyone on any level of their christianity or their faith if you're a new believer if you're someone who has been in the faith for over like 15 years that devotional is just really really good and i love the way that it's written i love the way that the author speaks and he writes and that's a really really good one number eight is just some essential oils and a diffuser i literally diffuse oils every day all day long so uh, you can never go wrong with that number nine is cozy slippers we're all at home right now a lot of people are forced to be at home so having a good pair of comfy cozy slippers is very very essential right now number 10 if someone is a really big coffee lover like myself you can get them a french press they're super inexpensive so if you want to get this for your friend or you have uh to go on a budget this year then a french press is really great they're usually like ten dollars and it's a really really great Great, simple way to make coffee and so if you have a friend loves coffee get them a french press number 11 is a little bit of a room decor and that is a felt letter board the felt letter boards are so in right now everyone loves them if your friends don't have one and that seems like something they would want i guarantee you they would love it number 12 is something that i personally really want and that is the ember heating mug it's like a mug where you can put your coffee in it and like set it on this little stand and it literally keeps your coffee warm for you let me tell you, as someone who works from home, that is amazing because I feel like I literally go to my kitchen to microwave my coffee at least five times throughout the day. So that's really helpful. Number 13 is just like some simple, meaningful jewelry. I feel like for myself, I love like really simple, like dainty necklaces or rings, but like something that's meaningful. So like get your friends something that just like maybe it's like an inside joke or something, but something meaningful, but like super small and dainty, I think is really, really special or even like their birthstone or something like that. Number 14 is a really, really cool idea for a friend. And that is the chat books. If you guys have never heard of them, they're like books where you can like print out someone's instagram pictures like every like 60 pictures or something i think it prints out a new book for you that's just one of them i know i know a lot of other places like shutterfly i think makes like little collage books and picture books that would be really really great to give a friend or someone or like a boyfriend or someone it'd be really really cool to give them something like that number 15 is film or a polaroid camera i know polaroid cameras like aren't super in right now but i still think they're really really cool i feel like polaroid cameras are going to be in forever i literally feel like they're amazing if someone is in college it's a really really great gift you know they can just take pictures and like put them on their wall super inexpensive like little decor for the room i love polaroids a lot <laughs> something else that's really really in right now is those like led strip like lights the tiktok lights where it's like 
up in the ceiling. I don't know. It's a really, really big thing right now. I don't have them, but I know a lot of like teenagers and young people would love to have the LED strip lights in their room. I'm pretty sure anyone who doesn't have one would be happy to get them. Number 17, I think is one of the best ideas and that is to get someone a subscription box. So like, I don't know, it, there's tons of subscription boxes out there where you can get something for anything. Maybe if it's like a newlywed couple, you can get them like a meal subscription box or like a grocery subscription box or there's like makeup ones. There's literally so many subscription boxes, but I feel like that's a really, really good gift because that's literally the gift that just like keeps giving throughout the year and it's really great. Number 18 is one that's really, really great for literally anyone and that is AirPods. I love my AirPods. They're really, really great for like working out or just really for anything when you don't like have to have a cord plugged in. I feel like everyone has AirPods now, but if they don't have them, it's a great gift to get somebody. Number 19 is something that you can never go wrong in and that is cozy pajamas. I feel like you literally cannot go wrong getting someone a really comfy pair of pajamas or like loungewear. Like I don't know somebody who like wouldn't want that. Number 20 are those teddy bear jackets. I love my teddy bear jacket. It's the most comfortable thing ever. It's better than like a bathrobe or anything. It's literally so warm. I I can't rave about it enough. So if someone maybe lives in like a cold climate area and they want a nice warm jacket, get them a nice teddy bear jacket because Number 21 is journals or like diaries or even like the guided journals, like the mental health journals. Just journals in general. I feel like it's really, really healthy to journal and it's really healthy to have a space to get your thoughts out and stuff. So if someone doesn't have a journal or maybe like a Bible journal, a prayer journal, so many journals to choose from, but gifting someone a journal is very inexpensive, but it's also very useful and very meaningful. Number 22 is unique coffee mugs. I feel like everyone wants unique coffee mugs. Coffee mugs are great if you don't like coffee mugs. I don't know who you are. I mean, even if you don't drink coffee, you like coffee mugs. Coffee mugs, just, just coffee mugs. You can't go wrong. Number 23 is a weighted or a heated blanket. I know if you deal with anxiety, I've heard that a weighted blanket is really, really good for that. Or like heated blankets for me are very comforting. So I love heated blankets, but weighted or heated blankets would be a really, really good gift to give somebody. Number 24, a Bluetooth speaker. Can't go wrong with that. Blasting music, you can't go wrong with that. Bluetooth speaker. Number 25 is beanies. So many cute beanies. Beanies are super trendy. You can't go wrong with beanies. I love beanies, they're great. Number 26 is 2021 planner. Of course, it's about to be the new year, so giving someone a planner for the next year is a really, really thoughtful and good, good idea. It's a good gift. Number 27 is blue light glasses. A lot of us are all on screens right now, whether they're in school or work or anything. A lot of us are on screen, so blue light glasses would be a really, really good gift to give somebody this year, especially because we're all just kind of staring at our phones and computers all day long every day. Number 28 is a portable like photo printer. I think Canon makes a really good, really good one. I'm sure there's a lot of other brands, but like a little printer where you can connect it like Bluetooth to your phone and you can print your pictures through it. It'd be really, really cool. Number 29 is one that's very inexpensive, but again, it's a gift that keeps on giving and that is to get somebody like a 12 days of Christmas gift or like if you want to DIY, make them something for like the 12 days up to Christmas. That's like so cute. That's adorable. That really shows that you put a lot of thought and effort into it. And it doesn't even have to be big gifts. It can just be like pieces of candy, but it's something where it's very thoughtful. And so like even it's just like the thought that counts. Number 30 is candles. You really can't go wrong with candles unless you might want to check and see if they're in a dorm and they can't have candles. But I I love candles. My husband and I are obsessed with candles, so candles are always a go-to for us. We love them. Number 31 is another thoughtful gift, and that is custom Etsy jewelry. There are tons of places on Etsy where you can like get custom made jewelry. So like maybe that's you want to get their name printed on something or like their birthday or like birthstone. There's a lot of different things you can get, but like a custom piece of jewelry would be so sweet. Number 32 is praying for your future husband. If you have a young girl in your life, that is a really, really great book for them to read. It's just a really good book to show someone what they can be praying for for their future husband and just different areas of life and kind of raising you up to be a good wife. And yeah, it's really good. Number 33 is skincare. Again, this can be any gender. Skincare is good for anyone. You can't grow with skincare. Getting someone maybe skincare that you like or that you know that they like, you, you just, that's just great. It's a great gift. It's a gift that's very practical, something that people need. Number 34 is again something that's really, really great and that is a nail salon gift card. This is more for the women out there, but uh, for me, I know like getting my nails done, it's kind of a dread for me only because I hate having to spend money on it every time. So if you wanna give somebody a gift card to their favorite nail salon and give them a little bit of a treat to get their nails done, that'd be a really, really nice thing to do. Number 35, Starbucks gift card. You literally cannot go wrong with a Starbucks gift card. You don't even have to like coffee to like Starbucks. Everybody likes Starbucks. Number 36 is this one that's really thoughtful and that is to get someone their favorite TV or movie like apparel. So like if they're really, really into a movie or to a TV show, get them something 
from that movie so like if someone really, really likes stranger things and you get them a cute little stranger things sweatshirt or friends you can get them a cute friends sweatshirt or just anything like that that's a super thoughtful gift that shows that you really pay attention to what they like and you know what they like and you just know them and you pay attention to them number 37 is cozy throw blankets and throw pillows i have a million throw pillows lots of throw blankets you can never have too many throw blankets and throw pillows number 38 and 39 are two diy gifts that are very very inexpensive but again are really thoughtful and the first one is to make a diy mason jar and put little pieces of paper in there of like prayers or like good qualities about somebody or just like compliments and things that they can like take out one a day it's super cute someone gave that to me one time and i loved it i literally that was probably like my, one of my favorite gifts ever and the next one is one that maybe it's a gift you want to give to a couple and that is a mason jar where you fill it up with a bunch of pieces of paper that have a bunch of date ideas on it and then maybe in the jar you can put like some cash or some gift cards as well that's a really really great gift one again that's a gift that keeps on giving throughout the year they can keep going through the jar and getting gift cards and little date ideas and it's just really really great because sometimes couples can't come up with dates and they need somebody to tell them some ideas so it's a good one. Number 40 is another Bible, but it's a study Bible. Maybe someone has a journaling Bible already, but they don't have a studying Bible and then vice versa. But a study Bible is really, really great because they always have the commentary down at the bottom. So if someone's a new believer, a study Bible is always great. I'm almost done. I promise I have 10 more left. Stick with me. 41 is a gas or a grocery gift card. Really, really great for college students or newlyweds. 42 is a salt lamp. I have a salt lamp. Love my salt lamp. It's really, really great for like aesthetic. You know what I mean? I love it. Number 43 is string lights. Again, a great gift for a college students for the dorm room or just for anyone really. I love string lights and hanging them like up everywhere, but like all throughout the year. I love like Christmas lights and string lights and it's a really thoughtful gift. Number 44 is an essential oils car diffuser. I have one that plugs into like my little cigarette lighter and it's so great. It just like, ugh, I love it. A car diffuser is literally one of my favorite things I've ever gotten. 45 is more of a gift for a woman, but a curling iron or straightening iron would be a really, really great gift if they don't have one or maybe they want a new one or just give them good, a good quality one. That's always a really, really good gift. I could definitely use a new curling iron, that's for sure, and I would use it every day. So that's something to think about for sure. Number 46 is like stickers that the people can put on their computer or their water bottle. I know that's super trendy so uh, getting someone something that they like like a TV show again or like something funny would be really cool to get like for a water bottle or a computer or like a school logo or something kind of cool. Number 47, I just titled the YouTube bundle and that's because this is a bigger gift, but if you are planning on getting someone a good gift and you know that they want to be a YouTuber, get them a camera, get them a tripod, get them all these things. So like, for example, I use the Canon G7X. It works great for me. It's a great vlogging camera. I have like all my filming equipment down below. Also a really, really great gift you can give someone is Final Cut Pro. That is the professional editing software that I use to edit my videos. And I want to say it's two or $300. So Again, it's a very big gift, but it is really something that is a gift that keeps giving and I've used mine for over five years and you don't have to pay a monthly subscription. It's just a one-time purchase. That's why I use it so I don't have to keep paying. It's just a one-time deal. So that's really a really great gift is like a camera or an editing software. Number 48, if someone doesn't have an Apple Watch, maybe that's getting them an Apple Watch. Again, it's kind of a bigger gift, but also if someone doesn't have an Apple Watch, then you can get them like a a band that's just a lot, a lot cheaper you can just go on amazon and get like really cool like unique little bands or like you can go on etsy and get a custom one there's a lot of different bands you can get but that's a really good gift for someone who already has one or if you want to get them an apple watch and spend a little bit more money get them an apple watch number 48 is super inexpensive but it's something i love and that is my dymo label maker it is like the really really cute label maker that makes things like really vintage -y and cute i love it really really great for someone who's into diys and the last one that i have is another diy and that is DIY DIY essential oil rollers and perfumes. Another really great one that's really great to gift someone, very inexpensive, but is really meaningful and is something that they will use a lot, I guarantee. So that is all the gift ideas I have this year. I hope you guys enjoyed it, got some ideas out of it, got some ideas that you wanna ask for for Christmas or maybe that you're gonna get your friends for Christmas. That's 50 things, so that's a lot of things I know. If you're here and you stuck with me, comment a Christmas tree down below so I can know that you stuck with me this whole time. Anyways, I hope this helped you guys in any way. If it did, let me know, and I'll make one next year, maybe. Anyways, I love you more than you will ever know, and I will see y'all in my next video. Peace out, y'all. And happy holidays. Almost. <laughs>